What is the value of the expression 64 minus 24 divided by 4 times 2? Which option do you think is the correct answer to this question? This expression has tricked almost 95% of people. Let's go step by step and solve it together. To solve this question, most people first go for the subtraction between 64 and 24 and write this expression as 40 divided by 4 times 2. And the next step, they usually perform the division between 40 and 4 and simplify this expression to 10 multiplied by 2, which finally gives them the answer 20. And immediately, they quickly say that the correct answer to this question is option A. However, it's not the correct answer to this question. Also, some other people when solving this question first go for the multiplication between 4 and 2 because they think multiplication has a higher priority than division. So, they derive this expression as 64 minus 24 divided by 8. And the next step, they perform the division between 24 and 8 since they believe division has a higher priority than subtraction. And they simplify this expression to 64 minus 3 which finally gives them the answer 61. Then, they conclude that option C is the correct answer to this question. However, that's definitely wrong. Alright, now let's go step by step together and show you how to solve this expression correctly. To solve this question, we must follow a rule that is called PEMNAS. And this rule, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. We should perform these operations exactly in order from top to bottom. Okay, according to the PEMDAS rule, we must stop with the division and multiplication, because these two operations have a higher priority than subtraction. However, it's very important to keep in mind that multiplication and division have exactly the same level of priority. In this situation, the best approach is to start from the left and perform these two operations in order. So, first we perform the division between 24 and 4. And instead of this expression, we can write 64 minus 6 then times 2. And the final step, we should perform the multiplication between 6 and 2 because multiplication has a higher priority than subtraction. So, this expression simplifies to 64 minus 12. And finally, we get the answer 52. That's great. Option B is the correct answer to this question. Alright, now let's solve another tricky math question together. What is the value of the expression 27 divided by 9? Again, divided by 27 divided by 9. Which option do you think is the correct answer to this question? Let's carefully go through the step by step and solve it together. At the beginning of solving this question, many people jump straight to the first expression, 27 divided by 9, which I have highlighted in yellow, and replace it with 3. And the next step, they go for the other expression of 27 divided by 9, which I have highlighted in blue, and again replace it with 3. Finally, they conclude that 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. Then, without any hesitation, they quickly say that option C is the correct answer to this question. But, I have to say, we are tricked and it's not the correct answer to this question. Alright, now let me walk you through a step by step how to solve this expression properly. As you can see on the screen, at this expression, we have three division signs. It's very important to note that when an expression contains only division signs, we must always move from left to right and carry them out in order. So, first we start with the expression 27 divided by 9, which I have highlighted in yellow. And instead of this expression, we can write 3 divided by 27, then divided by 9. Now, we can write 3 divided by 27 in the form of a fraction. So, this expression becomes 3 over 27 divided by 9. Alright, whenever we see a division sign between two terms, the best strategy is to use the KCF rule. And this rule, K stands for keep the first fraction as it is. C stands for change the division sign to multiplication. And F stands for flip the second number. So, instead of the highlighted part, we write it as 3 over 27 multiplied by 1 over 9. Which ultimately gives us 3 over 243. And it simplifies to 1 over 81. That's great. Option A is the correct answer to this question. 